think it's recording. I'm so good at this! So, hi! Uh, this is my book review of an audiobook, actually. So it's my book review of the audiobook for Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. I heard about it on Books on the Nightstand, which I mentioned in my summer reading bingo video, is the podcast that I like to listen to most often. And from the summary that they gave on the podcast, it sounded potentially creepy, so I thought it would be fun to get it on audio, because I love scary things. It is narrated by Cassandra Campbell, who has also read The Woman Upstairs and The Burgess Boys, neither of which I've listened to, but I think I probably will because I was definitely interested in both of those books. I really enjoyed Cassandra's performance on Bird Box, so I'll probably check those out. It is produced by HarperCollins, and it is about 9 hours and 10 minutes long, which if that sounds long to you, then I, it's, it's actually not that long for an audiobook. Uh, it's, that's about average, I'd say. Um, to put it in perspective, The Goldfinch is about 36 hours long, or something like that. So it's an average length audiobook, maybe a tad on the longer side. Some of the shorter ones I've listened to have been four, four or five hours. It's about... Um, these creatures have come from no one knows where, and when you look at them, you go crazy, and you kill people, and you kill yourself. Um, yeah, and so these things just start happening, and it gets worldwide, and people get really scared, and they start hiding, and things just go batty really quickly. And the main character's name is Mallory, and she finds out that she's pregnant basically the day that everything starts happening. And the novel takes place mostly in flashbacks. Um, so at the start, Mallory and her two kids are taking a trip to they don't they don't really say but they are leaving the house they've been living in for the last four years and going someplace hopefully safer by boat blindfolded um and as they're going along mallory is looking back on everything that happened in the previous four years uh, my initial reactions to this book my first reaction was that the title is not my favorite a bird box I don't think really says anything about what the novel is actually about which I mean that's fine but um some kind of more solid connection is usually my preference I also wanted it to be scarier than it turned out to be um, I love horror movies I watch them all the time and so I think my tolerance might be a little higher than the average person's which definitely will affect my experience of things that are sold to me as scary or creepy or what have you. Um, so, I mean, I, I am taking this into account as I give this review. I, there are people out there who will be scared by this book. But there were scenes where they did go out into the world and the creatures were possibly nearby and things got really scary. The first time it happens, there's a well involved and, oh my gosh, it was like chills. I was so freaked out. But then, this, the next few times that it happened, it's, the scenes all seem to follow the same formula. And the fact that it's all told in flashback, or the majority of it's all told in flashback, I mean, when you're in the most intense scenes, there's a certain level of, well, we know she's not going to die here because she's in the boat with her kids, so you can't really be too scared. It's kind of like, you know, the show's called Grey's Anatomy, so duh, Meredith's gonna be fine. So the theme of this book, like a lot of books that deal with the end of the world, is um, that man is the real monster that we should be fearing. Who can you really trust in a world that's gone completely crazy? Uh, how do you know? I mean, you can't trust your eyes anymore. So that alone just adds a whole level of just insecurity to the world that I think makes people very dangerous. Whenever there's a sense of insecurity, people get uh, on edge and there's, you know, they maybe do things that they wouldn't have done in a normal world. 
Mallory as a protagonist, I think, is one of my favorite female protags written by a male author that I've read in a very long time. She has an authentically feminine voice, despite the fact that Josh Mallerman is a man. Um, and she, I mean, her thoughts on motherhood and all that kind of thing, they rang really true to me, which is really impressive for a male writer. And I also really, really appreciated that she stands on her own. She's strong without the aid of a partner. She actually steps up and becomes a leader in her in the house she's living in and and I I always appreciate when female leads are given their due. I wish that Mallerman had spent more time in the world that he created. I wanted more there I mean there were just so many questions about these creatures that I mean you're not going to figure it all out. Maybe they're not going to discover where they came from or what have you, but we could find out more about the effect they had the effect they had once they arrived. There was there was so much unknown that could have aided the tension of the book. Um, but again, I, I also think not my personal biases and then maybe even the way that I consumed the novel definitely affected my perceptions. I think that if I had read it, I might have been more content with the character-driven story that I got. But when I listen to a book, the entertainment value is higher for me. I want the production to be good. I want scenes that I can visualize and descriptions of feelings that I can feel. Like that I want to, almost like I'm listening to a movie kind of a thing. But as far as the audio goes, like I said, I was really pleased with Cassandra Campbell's narrating. Her performance was really great. She did, you know, voices for the different characters without being cheesy, which is especially impressive considering she did not one, but two voices for children, for four-year-old children. So if you are at all easily spooked, this audiobook is probably not for you. If you have a really high tolerance for scary, this audiobook is probably also not for you. I think I would probably recommend this in print. Uh, just because, like I said, I think I went into the audio expecting more more horror elements than there were, and I think that the story, a story like this might work better on the page. Uh, so yeah, that's been my review of Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. Um, hope you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. I'm also on Twitter, link below and on my channel. I've got my blog. I'll probably do a written review of this if you're interested. Cheerio! Shake it out, shake it out! Oh, wow! On Bird Box. Yeah. Hate up talking. Yeah. The sleeping boo.